I'm Phil Herman, and I'm the Vice President of Green Tower Solutions for Panasonic. Panasonic's Green Tower solution is based on a uh, cloud-based uh, data platform that allows us to monitor and manage the systems remotely. Static power systems are just that. They sit there and they wait for an outage and there's no communication, there's no smart assets, and we don't even know whether they're available when they're needed. So the primary difference is it's a remotely managed platform that manages the availability and the operation of the systems remotely so that we can count on them when we need them. Down the road, um, as technology continues to evolve and, and the density of operations increases, power levels are going up. For example, the lower frequency spectrums require much more power. And, and, we, and, and in addition, we anticipate with the, with the advent of, of wireless infrastructure being reclassified as critical infrastructure, there'll be minimum requirements for standby time and operation uh, that'll be very difficult to meet with the current technology assets. So it, it almost re the future almost requires that we have these remotely managed systems that have smart energy assets, that have you know, much more power density and the opportunity to remotely manage because otherwise costs are going to get out of control. So long term, um, the carriers have to address this one way or the other. Status quo just won't work. Actually, it's really basic. Um, one of the, while energy is a very large cost in the network operations, um, the system will certainly reduce energy costs from, by, by, by managing efficiency of the assets and by making sure, for example, that we don't run air conditioning when we don't need it. Um, however, the real benefit is on the long-term maintenance of these systems. Um, traditionally, what the industry is doing is as soon as there's a problem, they dispatch a technician. Um, and it's that technician that's going to go to the site, triage it, and figure out what's wrong. So typically, that technician's probably not even capable of fixing the problem, and so additional truck rolls will ensue and, and adding to the cost of maintaining the systems. Um, in addition, it takes longer uh, to, to, to facilitate the solution, and therefore they're, they're wasting time and money and, and, and not helping themselves at all. The, the difference with Green Tower is we understand what's going on at the site. Whether, whether it's the generator, whether it's the battery system, whether it's the, the grid or, or otherwise, um, we know what's wrong and therefore when we dispatch a tech, it's based on a detailed remote diagnostic perspective and the right technician with the right tools and the right materials is going out to the site the first time. And therefore, on a long-term basis, we're simply reducing the, um, the, the, the number of truck rolls and the cost of doing that. Um, actually, it's universal. Um, On-grid, off-grid, and weak-grid sites really do benefit from it, but they do it in a different way. For example, um, off-grid sites, it's pretty obvious. Um, we, we have autonomous sites that operate with solar and batteries, and, and, and Green Tower manages that effectively. Um, our lithium-ion batteries, even in, in a mode where we're doing deep discharge every day, have a very long service life and are very reliable, therefore giving the operator the predictability and the uptime that they need on these remote autonomous sites. In the reverse, on grid, um, the, the smart energy assets appear to be less important, but actually they, they create a new opportunity of generating revenue. So in many locations um, in North America and in Europe and elsewhere in the world, um, the, the, the grid systems um, are set up that you can actually sell services to the grid. And so whether it's frequency response or otherwise, the ability to generate revenue from these systems is, is, a, is a new opportunity for, for carriers. So instead of just simply spending money and having to manage these assets on a cost basis, we actually can generate revenue for the carriers as well. Yeah.